What's up guys, Goofy Apple is here, we're going to be playing Kerbal Space Program, where you just have your own space program, essentially. So, um, let us start game, start new, we're going to be doing career mode, which basically means you, um, you have to, in career mode, you have to manage all aspects of your space program, funds, reputation, all, all and science are all active, and contracts are available at Mission Control. We're going to call Let's Play, and our flag, let's make the default verbal flag, so let's just start. Nice to meet you, I'm Gene Kerman, Flight Director, and your quick guide for this or your guide for this quick introduction. This is the Space Center. From here, you can manage all aspects of the space program. Feel free to have a look around. You know what? Thanks. I don't need that. So basically, this is where we do all you do a lot of stuff there. So we want to go to the Beautiful Semi Building. Hello, I'm Merv. I'm Kermit, Chief, Chief Ec Rocketry Engineer. This is the Beautiful Assembly Building where we build scrape spacecraft and later roll them out to launch pad for flight. A pretty impressive visit on your left will find components. Okay, whatever. So uh it's select starting power slash others to build ship. We watch them around. Okay. We don't need that. That's it really. It's not as if it were rockets out. Oh. Um yeah we have need any more depth ex explanation how to build, how to look at the training section and make menu. We don't need a training. Um, basically, this is the command pod where you just put all of your, like, this is where all your um, kerbals go, and yeah, and you can see things. We don't have any engines. I mean, I don't think we really need one right now. For this, what we're going to do is so just all get some structural. We don't need that. You know, I don't think I actually need anything. So, you start off with like an MK parachute. A mystery goo container and an RT5 solid fuel booster, a girder segment, and a pod. But we're just gonna go with the pod. And so, watch this launch. So you put the little launch at the top, and that's how you do it. And, huh. So here, um, we, we've got Jebediah, and you can click C to go into the internal view. And there's not much going on, and to start it, press space, and we don't really have any engines, so nothing will really happen. So what, we're, what we want to do is crew hatch, we want to, where is this, we want to do a crew report, and crew report from launch guide, you report this through the summary of the situation, and then we got science, so we're just going to keep this experiment. And yeah, we are going to do this thing said that this is go EVA. And then you can kind of just use your arrow keys and run around. And then we are going to do an EVA report. EVA report from Watchpad. I don't think a space dude was entirely necessary to get here, was it? We're gonna add two point four science group experiment. Well, let us see. Um, let's just go in here and then let's just go back, you know, into here, and then we need to click recover vessel. And we didn't actually really launch, didn't launch, but it counts as a launch, and we got this this data, and we got three science, which is pretty cool. We got all of our stuff back, and Jebediah Kerman is ready, so. 3.9 science, but that's not entirely good enough for us. So what we want to do is we want to do this. We want to add a mystery goo containment unit because you can do science with this. And we're just going to press launch, and let's just move, just press space, and we'll see that nothing happens. But then if we do observe mystery goo, mystery goo and save it from launching, a goo doesn't seem to be doing much right now. Read the science. Let's keep that. And recover the vessel. And then we can just loading, we can just go through here. And now we have 6.9 science, and that's really good. So we go to the research and development, and 
do we... There are two things that we can get right now. We can get basic rocketry, or science, or engineering 101. I think that we should get engineering 101, because it gives us a decoupler, which will be... I'll explain how it works later. A thermometer, which can give you another science experiment, and some um, things that you can transmit if, like, science. So, like, say if you're really far out, and you won't be coming back anytime soon, you can transmit it. Or if you're about to crash. So we're going to click this. Research. Now that brings up stability, which gives you some some stuff like uh, just aerodynamic stuff, and survivability, which is pretty important. And two of your heat shields, which will end up... Well, we'll go into this later. So now, go into the vehicle assembly unit. And this, this is a pretty cool thing. And we are going to into science and put a too hot thing on around there. And let's launch. So now let's just log the temperature. Temperature scan. Okay. I'm gonna keep the experiment and we're gonna recover. We're losing a tiny bit of money but not really. And I forgot to mention we should go to the mission control, and these are our these are our, like um these are contracts, and these can get you science, money, and reputation. Money is the main thing. So if we launch over special, I forgot to do this. You wanna that means that when you look at the objectives, um, if we get our reverse special off the launch pad or the runway, so. We got $3,200 um, of science and reputation. Then we have an advance and then completion of the whole thing. So let's accept this and also escape the atmosphere. We won't do this for a very long time, but let's just accept all of these. Oh, we can't because we only have two active contracts. And then we got some money from our exam. And we can see an active, like we got an $11,000 advance from that. So let's fulfill that and we are going to actually launch something. So we're going to have these, and we're going to add a parachute. And this basically, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like, you yeah, parachutes. And we're also going to get a solid fuel booster. And this is a pretty expensive craft, but it will pay off. So, so let's make sure that, yeah, we have Jebediah, and we also have a few other guys, but we're not going to use them right now. Let's just launch, and this will be our first act for launch. So to start, you pressed space, and it automatically um, does that, but let's just have it go around it. It'll kind of go out of control for a bit. And now that it's floating, let us observe all the mystery goo. So it's from, actually, while flying at Kerbin. So let's just do all of the... Let's do all of these, and oh, yeah, remember also crew report. And now we just go down here. And this parachute is really helping us, and so we're making our else to go down a lot faster. And now let's just wait for this to go down. And uh, yeah, you can see how high you, up you are here, and your altitude, and this is. Your nav ball, which will be very important later. And you can use your RPs to turn your ship, but if you do D and S, you can kind of steer. But right now, let's just recover the vessel so we can get our money back. So if we come back, we got 21 science from that. That was pretty good. And we get our money back. And Jebediah is ready for her next mission. I mean, his next mission. And now we have 29 science. Um, let's go up to mission control. And now you can see there's so many different ones now. We're not going to focus on these right now. We are going to use this science to get basic rock tree, which gives you liquid fuel. Uh, it gives you a fuel tank, a better fuel booster, but liquid fuel engine. That's what we're looking at. Okay, all of these, like these solid fuel engines, they can burn, they can go for a decent amount of time, but you, but it, it just, you can't 
add anymore, and also you can't control what to stop and start it. And, and it's basically, you hit, there's no way to control it or how much, how long it goes for. And then with liquid, you can you can start and stop it whenever you want during the flight. You can add fuel tanks, and you can also turn with them. So we're going to research basic rocketry. We're not going to look at anything right now because we don't need that. Let's go to the vehicle assembly building. And we are going to take this and switch it out for a liquid swivel action. But as you see, if you actually look at this, if you look at this, um, it doesn't show that there's any. It just shows a thrust limiter. It doesn't actually say that it will. It won't actually run because there's no fuel, which will just come with it. So we go into fuel tanks, put an FL. It's better on the bottom that doesn't work. An FL 100 fuel tank. So let's put one down. These are pretty cheap. These are only like 150 dollars. So let's put down two right now. So uh, this will run for a lot longer. So, um, let's just launch this. And what we're going to do now is I think that, and we want to put, make our throttle go up by, okay, we can, we can use shift and control, but also press Z to make it go all the way up, and, oh no, we're kind of going out of control, but as you, uh, let's just, um, let's just let it go like that for a bit. But now, you see that you can kind of turn. And let's see if we get any more science. And let's, let's log the temperature, no science. So. I mean, we can just reset things kind of But, yeah, and that, you can throttle up and throttle down, and we could turn. So that's something very important. We're not going to get much more because it is very important. The parachute goes at the same time as the engine. Because you can see it's the same stage. And we can easily fix this by um, let's just let this let's try I hope that this doesn't crash. Oh well it did crash. And maybe that's because we never actually I don't know why it crashed, but maybe it was a little too heavy, so let's just recover what we can. And what we're going to do now is max. Okay, we got a tiny bit of science. So what we're going to do is we are going to push this to a plus here, so it's a zero and a one. And we're going to put our engine down here. So when we, so the first, um, how, like when you press space, it goes through one stage, and the stages it go, they go from bottom to up. So when we press space once, it'll start our engine, and then when we press space again it'll fire a parachute. So let's try to launch this. And you always, um, my rule of thumb is when you're starting, you always want to press Z when you start to get your throttle up. And now, when we start, we can go without. Oh, but it's kind of going out of control. But as you see, we can steer it. Um, it's, it's not very good. Say, but we can. Um, it's not very. Oh no 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 no. Now we we'll press space again to fire that, and we're probably gonna crash and die. And that was not a very successful launch. And um. Well, that kind of sucks right now, so if we press escape, then let's go back. Let's go back to the space center. So we lost Jebediah, which is sad, but it was necessary for science. So what we... Let's, so what, we're going to do something a little different. We are going... Well, let, let's add some more fuel first of all. But um, we also want to. If we click on this, it shows our mass. And okay, this is something that like when you're building a rocket, this is something that you want to 
remember, if you make it like really big, it won't lift off, and you might wonder, oh, how do I know if it won't lift off? And what we do to determine that is you take, figure out your thrust, and I had it, why does it not show you your thrust? Well, let me, let's check here, oh yes, thrust, ASL, we're gonna go by ASL. Um, 167.969 kilonewtons. And that is the thrust, and that, that's just a form. So what we take to figure out if it will lift is, we take our mass, which is 5.0 tons, and then we multiply that by the gravity, the gravity of whatever planet we're on. And we're on Kerbin, which is basically that has the same properties of Earth, so gravity is 9.8 meters a second, so we have approximately 59 um, kilonewtons going down, but we have 167 kilonewtons going up. So that's very good. You might want to keep like like keep like 25% of your thrust. So I mean, if we wanted, we could just add fuel tank. Something that you can do is you can like hover over them and then click and then Alt click and then you can duplicate it. And yeah, this is a ton, but we're just gonna prove a point. So let's launch this. This probably won't work, but and it might fall over also. So let's just launch it, and as you see, we're just going up and up and up and up and up. And we want to stay in this yellow circle on our nav ball. So let's just keep going, up and let's see how high we can get. Oh no, 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 no. We don't want to get too out of control, because the bigger our Rockies get, the harder that we do. And then we can also turn on this thing called Stability Assist. Which is which some pilots have, which basically lets you, yeah, just um, assist your stability. And Valentina Kerman's gonna do this, and we're going whoa, we're going very high up, very fast. Let's try to. So I think like. Your prograde is what what um, direction your tip is facing, and then your yeah, it's what your tip is facing, and then what's uh, what you have is on your nav ball is um, how far like what what your engine is facing. You want to keep those closest. And now that we're oh my god, we're so high up. You can go into map view by pressing M, and then we see how high we're up. We're and our Apple Apps is the highest that we're going to go, and we right now have some time, so we can just chill out here. And three... 311,920 meters, so that's, um... The atmosphere of Kerbin is, um... Is 70,000, like, that's space. And you could hear this. It's different music once you get over 70,000 meters. So our entitled spacecraft, and we can see some, we're in orbit, well, that's our, our service speed, and then there's our orbit speed. It automatically changes, but this is our apoapsis, and what, if we, that, like, we can't see how long it'll take us, but it'll take us a long time. So we use this thing called time warp, in which you, if you press period, then you can time warp, and you can go pretty fast, up to 50. And let's wait until we get who are pretty close, and we're 300,000 um, meters over the Earth, and we can see the Earth right now, it's curving right now. So what we want to do is get some science. So let us, I click on here, I click log temperature. Oh, in space high over curving, and this is a bunch of stuff. But you can read this, but, um, Let's just keep the experiment, and that gives us 12 science. Let's observe this mystery you and 15 science. Feels so right at home here. And now let's take a crew report. We report in 7.5 science. So now we can just kind of 
go down, go for a little longer, and let's do that until we go down. And when we're coming back down, there's a strategy where we want to, you see, okay, so this is retrograde, where it kind of looks like a hit marker with a little accident, and then prograde is the one that, that doesn't look like that. So we want to stay here, and, oh, let's we'll see that this is starting, it's not heating up too much, so we're fine. But, let's just try, oh, it's starting to overheat. This engine is definitely not going to survive this. Oh, and now we're starting to go out of control. Oh, no. This is exactly what we don't want to do. No. Another curb and lost. Okay. That is not what we want to do. That's an example of what we don't want to do. But here, I have a solution for what we should do. If we don't go so high, then we won't go B. Then we'll start, we won't go as far down. How many shots do we have left? Oh, we just have Bill Kerr, we just have an engineering and a scientist. So let's just, I don't know, take some of this and... You know, to be honest, I think four, three tanks is enough, so... Let's watch this. And let's press Z and space. Going up. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Well, we're still going up. Pretty fast. Oh no, 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 no. This is going really out of. This is going really sideways. Both literally and figuratively. So, now that we're up here, I mean, let's just do some science, because, I don't know. Okay, come on, let me observe the mystery view. Okay, well, that's not too much, but, is that a curve for it? Let's log the temperature, because, well, we don't want Bill Kerman to die, so... Let's just deploy the parachute by pressing space pretty early. And, oh my god, this is going fast. It's going very, very fast. Come on, come on, you can do this. I believe in you. Come on, deploy, deploy, deploy. Deploy. No, 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 no. <gasps> yes. We made it. Mr. Bill Kerman, we made it. Now, yeah, okay, well that exploit that exploded, but we landed. Now, um, we didn't go very high up, so let's just not mystery, mystery control. Uh, let's check this place. Conduct. Um, well, you know what? Actually, we're not going to go into depth. So we're going to go to the astronaut complex. We have a lot of money. So we're going to find a pilot. And they want the highest courage with the least stupidity. A pilot. So, Oregon Kerman seems like he's good. So let's enlist him. He cost us a lot of money, but it is worth it. So we are going to check back in here and check in our crew. Got a Bill Kerman out of here, an Orvin Kerman in. And now let's go to the build, and, you know, to be honest, let's just keep on going. Let's get six fuel tanks. But if we, we're gonna, with all this weight of these fuel tanks, we're gonna go down really fast. So let's save this and leave. And we're going to need another science. We're going to have research and development, and we're going to find survivability. And, okay, wait, let me check this way. Let me check here. Yes, sir. Survivability. We are going to use a lot of different things. We're going to get, and with this, we got heat shields, which will stop the heat. Barometers, which is another science experiment. Some radio panels. 
Um, so yeah, that's right. That's like my hand suit. Some landing struts and some mount parachutes and a service bay. So let's just get this and see the facility. Let's go to the vehicle assembly building. I'm going to be using something that we got before called the 2D12 decoupler. So let's just drag these off and um, let's look under here. Is it under? It's under. Let's look for the. It's, it would be under thermal, and then we put that heat shield. That's very small, so let's get that 1.25 meter. Let's put that on the bottom so it'll stop heat from coming down. And now let's go to decoupler. TD12 decoupler. If we put this on, if we put this on, that means that. Let us, you know, let's add another stage. So. We lift off, we decouple, which basically means that it takes off everything, and then we do parachute, so we lose a lot of weight. So, let's launch this. Let's make our last launch. I swear. So, we want a pilot because they can do SAS, so toggle SAS, let's put throttle all the way up, press space. Now, let's just go sh straight up. It goes. I don't know, that's what we do. You can use E and Q to turn your spacecraft. So, let's just wait for this liquid fuel to run out. So, well, you know, let's just see how far we can get up. Oh, we're starting to get some heat. Okay, now we're going to press space and decouple. And now, we got it. Now let's check and see what our apple lapses is. 131 meters. 1,000 meters. I mean, and now, we're just going to, I don't know, just chill, go up a bit. And... You know, wait until we get to 7,000 meters so we can time warp. Because you can physics warp, but that doesn't actually help that much. That, like, that ha it gives you a lot of risks of, like, blowing up your engine or something. And if we just, in the meantime, let's look. We have Herbin. We have the, mo the moon. We're working off the moon. And then our second one, which is Minmus. Oh, we know we're in space. Let's just deal with that. Let's deal with that later. And let's time warp. Until what were we? What's our apo apsis? We're getting pretty close. So let us do our experiments. Observe Mr. Goo. Ted science is pretty good. Rear hatch, log temperature. It's science, pretty nice. And let's do crew report. Five science, pretty nice. And now let's just time more, a bit more. And now that we're getting close, we want to stay on retrograde, which is this one. So we're going straight down, and retrograde, I think, is towards our. It's towards the opposite of our. Okay, it's, it's the. Um, I don't exactly know how to explain it, but. It's where our tip is not facing, exactly. So, so prograde and retrograde are always going to be because actually um, opposite. So the heat shield is kind of dealing with this, but in the meantime, let's turn our altitude that our parachute deploys at to 2,000. So I have some more time to slow down, and we're going through the atmosphere, and this will automatically. At 2,000 meters, deploy. But actually, oh, actually, let's let's turn it down to 1,500. Now let's just wait for a bit for this to come down slowly. Five, four, three, two. Oh, okay, we're getting down. You know, actually, it might be a little safer to just have it. Actually, at 2,000. Okay, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, let's just press space. I forgot to press space. And now, 
Let's try to have this slow down, slow down, slow down. Yes, now we're at a steady 6 meters per second, and we have like 500 meters to go. So let's, let's check on how Obvin... Oh, no, I should turn it. What is going on with my camera? It's a wonky. Let's press C. And don't know what else. Right. Oh, no. And I'm now let's just active. wait for it to touch the ground. Very slowly. And yeah, there's Kerbal Space for the center. Let's just. And we got all the way over here. So let's just. Oh, this is past sea level and the support action. Let's not do that. I don't know what it does. And it can, you can see stuff like you can't trap the bit soccer because you don't have a transmitter. We have direct connection to the space center. We have. Uh, we have perfect st signal strength, and we have full crew control. And some of these go out when you go to certain spots. So let's just wait. We're almost done. Wait, did I remember to? Yeah, I did all the data. Okay. Come on. And shoot. Or Ogden, let's recover the vessel. And you can only recover the vessel once you. Have say where you once you have um oh that's a lot of science it's thirty one science it's when you are on Kerbin like the surface and you are and you, your uh your command pod is safe so that is where we're gonna stop today we went up to a massive um a massively tall distance and then and then we crashed but then we did it again the couplers, we didn't go as high, but we ended up coming back. And that's it guys. See you guys, you know, see you guys next time. Like and subscribe for more and goodbye.